today we are going to start a new series for data analysis with python see we can use costly softwares or the softwares which are provided by our institutes but individually they are very costly but r and python they are freely downloadable you can work on it but only thing is you will have to write certain commands they are not user friendly like you just click and something will come up you will have to write the commands but they are very easy once you learn the basic commands then you will be able to do many advanced things python is a dynamic programming language which is useful for procedural programming object oriented programming functional programming you can analyze the data you can web design you can many more things automation many more things yeah. i am only a data analyst which i will discuss it with python which you can do it and you can enjoy learning using the python once you have learned it we will start the first 10 videos with the very easy programs so that you may enjoy learning and then we will go for the advanced uh, programming it is a very extremely versatile language it can be used for web development data analysis server maintenance numerical analysis it is fully modularity hierarchical packages are there there are many packages which can be imported into the python and you can work on this and there is a speed yes the program takes time to start on your laptop but the analysis which is does with the speed is very good you can download all the editors see python if you start it will be on the prompt command but you need an editor which will help you to write the program and then work on it see i prefer anaconda with anaconda you can use many editors like uh, jupiter spider pycharm otherwise you will have to download pycharm separately if you need it jupiter if you need separately but this anaconda provides you everything so i go to anaconda website from there i download the anaconda 3 for windows when it is downloaded i click on the executive file in the download folder install the packages and then in window i search anaconda navigator and uh, when i get the anaconda navigator anaconda navigator i right click and i see and i can pin it on the task bar and when i pin it pin it on the task bar i can easily start it i then i in the navigator for instance if i start now the anaconda navigator see when you start anaconda navigator it takes time because first it starts with prompt Uh, commands with many prompt commands you will see the many uh, blank uh, uh, windows and then actually the probe this 
navigator starts now in this navigator you can see data spell cmd executive prompt then uh, data lower then uh, watson studio cloud then jupiter jupiter lab powershell prompt qt console spider and many other program pycharm also and there are there are many many r studio then it's it uh, downloads also r studio with the main program so if you need you can also use r i always prefer anaconda navigator peter lab powershell prompt qt console spider and many other program pycharm also and there are there are many many r studio then it's it uh, downloads also r studio with the main program so if you need you can also use r i always prefer anaconda navigator and then i prefer from the navigator anaconda anaconda uh, navigator i prefer jupiter i when i click on the launch jupiter it will take another few minutes to start the jupiter if you are using chrome it will start with the chrome or if you are using edge it will start from the with the edge of the windows usually people start teaching the first program by just writing print hello i am happy and they run this program they run this program hello i am happy the output which comes is hello i am happy but we are going to write our first program to find out the mean of the data which we will input for any data analysis purpose we need to import a few packages for instance import pandas as pd import numpy which helps you in all your calculations as py from statistics import mean median mode standard deviation from mat plot lib import py plot as plt now these are the few now we may need or we may not need it i usually put it in the background so that in the environment everything is working properly to be some more packages are also downloaded that we will discuss in the coming videos so let us write our first let us run this these four now they will run in the background if there is any error it will tell us then we are going to write down a program a is equal to input first number b is equal to b is our variable b is our variable which we have saying it b is equal to input second number c is equal to third number input third number now please note 
all these numbers when you will enter they will be entered as text so let us see another number z which will convert these numbers into numerics so for instance in int a comma int b comma int c now these numbers are converted into are converted into integers now you can write down now here print mean z print mean z let us run the program run it is going to ask me first number i will say 6 it will ask me second number i will say 8 it will ask me third number i will write 7 and my mean is z i can also write it here inverted commas mean of mean of above numbers is plus this now this will have some problem because this is string this is not string let us run let us run this program run first number 8 second number 12 third number 7 third number is 7 it is saying there is a problem so what we are going to do we can do str mean z so it will give me it will give us the whole issues let us see now if it can run Nine, twelve, nine. So mean of this number is ten. You can also run the program by writing z is equal to. You can write down the numbers here: one, comma two, comma five, seven, comma nine. These are the numbers. And uh, you can say here print mean print mean z. Let us run this. So, this is it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we will continue with the more videos. In the coming videos, we will see how to import the data and then find out the mean of the group data. Thanks for watching. You may submit your research work at Journal of Global Economy, rcssindia.org. Your work is evaluated by peers with double blind methodology. You will get comments for your work. Thank you.